apparently my suitcases had gone round and round and round and round on the carousel like so i got in there guys i got in there and these guys had already opened my suitcases <laughs> i took like the local black soap like the proper market one the one that is wrapped in um seven paper welcome back to my channel so i'm back with another story time and my previous story time like for my last video if you've not seen that it would appear here just check it out so that video actually reminded me of this incident like it's a funny but serious incident and i thought like it's worth sharing it with you so um when i went to school um i came back home in december and when i was returning back to school that was when this incident happened so when i was coming home for like for christmas two people who are like older people and people are like i respect uh yeah so they asked me to bring them so one of them said um i should bring i should bring alasa for those of you who are not Ghanaians, i don't know how to describe alasa to you but i'll look alasa is, is a fruit so i'll look for the picture and they said it somewhere here so i was asked to bring alasa and alata semina I like a seminar is black soap. So those are the things that those people, those two people asked me to get for them, like when I'm returning to the UK from Ghana. So I came home for Christmas and it was time for me to go back. And I didn't want to disappoint them. Like I said, they are older people and they are people that I respect. And obviously, like i had to get it for them so i got the alasa and i got the alata seminar the the black soap and yeah to take it back to the uk for them so i packed my stuff put everything in my bag departed from ghana got to amsterdam waited and yeah continued my journey to humberside now i get to humberside and I get off the plane to the airport, going through all of these um, security checks and whatnot. I get to the, what's that, what's that person called? Is it the immigration officer? Yeah, the people who check your, your passport. Yeah, immigration. So I get there and this lady, it was a lady. She takes my passport and guys, from my previous story, we spoke about my passport with the wrong name so this is how my passport is like my passport like i have three passports because my very first one which has expired then the second one which had the wrong name which was cancelled which i explained in my previous video and then my new one with the corrected name so i have like three passports stapled like on top of each other i gave this woman my passports i gave her the bunch like the three like that i gave this woman my passport i don't know why she opened the bio data page of the second one whilst there's one on top that you are supposed to open so i was like behind the counter i couldn't see what was going on but like i saw that she was going i don't know what she was doing but like i obviously saw that she was having some difficulties so now she was like okay because there were other people behind me so she, she was like okay um please step aside and let me like see to these people what what so i stepped aside she finished attending to all of the other passengers and then they left so now she called me back to attend to me she was like oh my surname and blah 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 so i explained to her that that um passport had my surname spelled wrongly so as she can see it has been cancelled so they issued me with a new passport that has my name correctly spelled and that is the one on top and she was like oh okay so she asked for my brp card that is like my um biometric resident permit so i gave my brp card to her and she was like um i should wait for her so she took my passport together with my brp card 
and she entered an office like they have an office in the in the airport so she she took both my passport and my brp card and she entered the office this woman comes out of the office and returns with just my passport like when she came back she was like okay like everything is sorted and whatnot so she was giving me back my documents or my my stuff and she gave me just my passport so i i asked her where like i requested for my brp card because i had given that to her as well and that was when she noticed that she had left it in the office and guys guess what the office door was poked so apparently the like the entire day what they were doing was they were not closing the door entirely because once you close it the door gets locked and i think they were waiting for someone who had the key and something whatnot so this woman closed the door and it means my brp card has been locked in that room and guys see my brp card was my life not like my life but like my passport actually meant nothing without the brp card because see my visa and my passport expired after like you know the the visa that they put in my passport like for student visa the visa and your passport itself actually expires about in my or, case it expired like a week or two after i got to the uk because i was like late for like school i was like behind on everything so it was my brp card that like showed that i i have permission to be in the uk it was my brp card that showed that i was there legally and this woman has gone in there to lock my brp card so yeah she tells me the door is pulled so blah 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 and so the option so and yeah, it was like, late it was really late because my flight from amsterdam was delayed so i like i sat at the airport for like only god knows how how long and now i get to humberside for this to also happen to me so she was like okay um i should go and i should give them my address they will deliver my brp card to me i was like no way what if you don't bring it to me because that is the only thing that shows that i'm legally like permitted to be in the uk so what if i go and then you don't deliver my my brp card to me like you say so i was like you know what you just call whoever needs to bring the key and i would wait though it's late because it was around nine or ten ish like it was that late there's no point rushing to get to school and i don't have my brp card so she said okay they called the person she was like oh the person would be here and like 20 to 30 minutes time i was like cool no problem i'll do it guys and bear in mind during this time i had not um claimed my bags like my suitcases i hadn't claimed them so apparently my suitcases had gone round and round and round and round on the carousel like no one was attending to these suitcases so some, I don't even know who these people were. I don't know if they were custom officers or they were like like normal airport security. So they noticed that like all the passengers, because I was, I don't know how to, to explain this, but like um, the way the airport is, where the immigration counter is, like if you are standing close to the carousel, you wouldn't know if, like there are more passengers or there's someone else there to come and all of that. So these security men saw that these um, suitcases had gone round, round, round and no one was attending to them. Like they couldn't see any more passengers there. So obviously they took their, <laughs> they took their suitcases off the carousel and took them to some room in the corner there. So when the woman was like, okay, I should wait and like they've called the person to bring the key down. I went down to look for my bags. I got there i couldn't find my suitcases like nothing on the carousel and i was just walking up and down walking up and down and i saw like one of the security men now came out of that room and then i think he asked me what i was looking for I'm like I'm, I'm searching for my bags and he said i should come with him guys these security men or i don't know custom officers or whatever had already opened my bag like they had taken my bag to that room and when i got there my two suitcases were already open like when i got there the whole the whole situation was a bit funny for me and 
yeah it was a bit funny because you know i i mostly watch this um program on dstv um what's it called border security or whatever like you know all of this um people traveling and they have like food items in their bags that they are not supposed to take along and all of that like is this really happening to me is this really happening to me so i got that these people had opened my bag they had <laughs> They had seen the Alasa and they had seen the Alata Semina. How am I how am I going to explain to these two men what like what Alasa is and what Alata Semina is? So they asked what, what this is. I said it's a fruit and this is a soap. Like they were still not convinced. So they took the Alata Semina, the black soap. Because like I took the proper like local black soap, the one that is wrapped in what's it called? Cement paper. <laughs> I took like the local black soap, like the proper market one, the one that is wrapped in um, cement paper. So these guys were not convinced. And you know the color of um, Alata Semina, the, like, the proper black soap. So they took the black soap and they said they had to go scan it, like properly scan it, what, what, what. So I was there, like, because Charlie, there was nothing to, to panic about. I'm not carrying anything illegal like i was i was pretty much very calm i was just there with like so one of them took it out and went to scan it and then he brought it back and he was like oh yeah good to go but trust me they had scattered my things they had scattered my things and i don't know if like is it really permitted like the person is not there so why then take my bag to open it and all of that but like yeah it's one of those things so they were like okay um you're good to go blah 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 so now i packed <laughs> i packed all of my things back into my bag and then i had to go sit wait for the person to bring the key in order for me to have my brp card and then head to school so i sat there for 15 to 20 minutes the the guy came they opened the office and then i got my brp card like after the whole incident because the immigration officer actually saw that because she delayed me that was what like led to the security people going through my bag and all of that so when um they finally brought the key and she brought me like she gave me back my brp card and whatnot she felt really bad and she apologized and like yeah it's just one of those things because like actually that day i was my flight had already delayed i was already tired there was no point in rushing to get to school leaving my brp card behind so i just had to wait for it and this whole airport wahala thing also happened with my alasa and my alata seminar so yeah just like my little airport wahala um I hope you enjoyed this video i hope i hope you enjoyed my story time and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not yet subscribed and i'll see you in my next video bye